In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create and open projects in Unreal Engine 4. All right, so the first thing that you'll want to do is go ahead and launch Unreal Engine 4. Now, at the recording of this video, we're using version 4.3, and so if you're using an older version, the project files will not work. So at this point, you'll want to create a new project, or you'll want to open an existing project. To create a new project, you'll simply go over to the New Project tab under your project browser, and you can choose one of these templates that you see below. Now, if you want to open an existing project, let's say that you downloaded a sample from the marketplace, you could simply go over to Projects, and then you could uh, open up one of these samples uh, that are here. Seeing how we're creating a brand new one, let's go ahead and go to New Project. So the first thing that you'll want to do is select the template that you want to use for your project. In our case, we're going to be using the blank template. But just to kind of humor you, let's take a look at some of the other templates that are here. Uh, we have the basic code, which will allow us to uh, run Unreal and give us a, for a foundation using C++ coding. Um, you can create a first-person game okay, with that template. You could use a blueprint first-person or the code first-person. Obviously, the code is going to allow you to create your game in C++. Um, that's going to be the main way that you create that game. But then you could also create the same game using Blueprint, which is the visual scripting um, editor inside of Unreal Engine 4. So if you don't know anything about coding or anything about C++, I would highly recommend that you use a first-person temp, or excuse me, a Blueprint template. Now you have other ones available as well. You can kind of explore those in your own time. But in this case, we're going to be opening up a blank project. I want to start from scratch. So let's go ahead and just choose blank. And then um, you can come down to this checkbox here. You can include the starter content if you like. Um, but in this case, I'm not going to include that because I don't necessarily need anything out of there. So let's uncheck that. And then we need to tell it what the project name is. So in our case, I'm going to call it UE4 underscore files. And this is going to create a folder called UE4 underscore files. Now, where is that folder going to be created? Well, we can determine that by clicking on this button right here. And you'll see there's the folder location. It's going to be in your project files folder. And then you'll see UE4 files. And then inside of that, you'll see um, config and content and then your uh, project uh, location. So once we've set all that, we can simply hit Create Project. And it's going to restart Unreal Engine 4. And we'll go ahead and we'll wait for that to restart there. Now when that finally comes up, you'll see that it gives you a brand new level. Now let's go ahead and talk about opening levels, or even um, saving levels. So to do this, we'll go up to File. And you can see that we have a new level, we can open a level, we could even save our levels. Now we also have the ability to create new projects right from here, or even open a new pro on another project. So pretty standard across the board here. So let's go ahead and open, or excuse me, save this as a new level. So we'll say save as. And then we're going to put this into a maps folder. Now this is going to bring you to your project files folder um, that you set. So in this case, project files, UE4 files, and then content. I'm going to right click in my content folder and I'm going to create a new folder. And let's go ahead and call this um, maps, hit enter, and then double click on that, and then we're going to save this as 02 underscore begin. Okay. Hit save on that, and then you'll see that your map name now shows up in that tab. All right, so now that we have learned about creating projects and opening projects, um, let's go ahead and move on into our next lesson, and let's start to break down this interface. We'll just get an overview of the interface, break it down into its major components. We're not going to go into all of the tools in the next lesson, but we'll just talk about um, the interface itself, what it does, and then we'll talk about navigation, just to get you up and running in Unreal as quickly as possible. So we'll get started with that in our next lesson.